This video is sponsored by Deep Cut Studios. For a wide range of fantastic gaming resources such as battle mats, dice trays and pre-painted bases, check out the description below. Hi guys and welcome back to our Malifaux Masters Breakdown where we showcase the factions and personalities vying for soul stones and dominance within the broken city. Today's episode features the scientific genius Maxine Agassiz and her crew of the exploration vessel Superior, better known as the EVS. The EVS crew specialise on proper planning and execution, facilitated by being able to endure and hit reliably in key jewels and flips during the game. The first ability that helps with this is the reconfigure trait, from which each model has a particular suit that can be treated as having a value of 9 regardless of its printed number, offering greater utility from lower value cards. Secondly is the Deep Discovery once per activation ability, which allows an EVS model to cheat fate with the top non-joker of an opponent's discard pile in return for discarding a card from your own control hand. This can be used to make use of a high card your opponent has just used, or even a lower one that matches your reconfigure suit. The crew also excels at having bespoke pieces to fit any role required on the battlefield, as one might expect from such an eclectic mix of researchers. Leading the EVS in their studies is their captain Maxine Agassiz, a toolbox master who can offset the discard of Deep Discovery with her captain of the superior trait, which allows card draw whenever reconfigure is used within 8 inches. Maxine's own personal reconfigure is malleable thanks to her polymath ability, which allows you to select a new suit each start phase. This is also pertinent for your opponent thanks to two steps ahead, which forces enemies in opposed duels to treat the name suit as having a value of 1, severely weakening a quarter of their deck each turn. Maxine's main party trick is her impromptu invention which allows her to bestow a condition of her choosing at a stat of 7, with two excellent triggers to increase the potency of the status when applied. Her 2 stat 6 attacks offer an array of card manipulation, but her bonus action, Ordering Chaos, is perhaps the most impressive, being able to shuffle an entire suit of cards back into either player's fate deck from their discard pile. Accompanying Maxine at sea is her husband Orville, an impressive significant totem that can cover significant ground as a move 6 scheme runner who is difficult to pin down thanks to concealment from his sputtering exhaust and the aeronautical eccentricity bonus action which allows him to walk away from enemy engagement should they try to pin him in combat. The EVS's sole henchman is the impressive Kia Manami, a ruthless 10 soul stone beater who makes excellent use of the shielded condition to charge her 2 inch melee spear for irreducible damage, making her a dangerous hunter of soul stone users. Kia can again improve the utility of her allies reconfigure suits thanks to her technophile ability, exchanging drawing from the deck for the discard pile for a card with the name suit at a value of 5 or less. Expect to see her leading the line having been stacked with shielded and focused tokens. Next up are a wide range of enforcers starting with the shared performer Harata Nagatoro, a strong anchor in the centre of the board with a min 3 melee attack and proficiency for the poison status. Harata is able to offer some effective counter scheming thanks to his Echoes of the Ocean trait, which allows him to drop a scheme marker next to any that would be removed within 4 inches of him. The big man is probably best known for his hacker bonus action, which projects a 4 inch aura that can either provide protection, ping damage or movement shenanigans depending on what you need each turn. Moving over to our 8 soulstone option we have the hulking tidecaller, a tanky brawler with an impressive 6 damage severe on its weighted anchor melee attack. Its toss action can cause significant repositions for allies and enemies alike, and can even be taken at range thanks to its heavy torrent bonus action making it excellent for impacting strategies that involve holding pivotal positions. Next up we have the weird combination of Dr. Beeb and his submersible Calypso, who despite being separate hires are almost always seen together thanks to the effective union they make, as well as the two soulstone discount that you receive. While there is a lot to unpack here, the main takeaways are that the good doctor can start the game buried in his transport, where he can take its actions as his own and benefiting both with plus one to their actions jewels. Principal among these is the Mining Tools attack action which features Beeb's reconfigured tome suit on its massive tentacles trigger which can play havoc into enemy bubble crews over two activations. Heading over to minions we have another shared keyword model in the Harpooner boasting an impressive defense of 6 and the ability to gain positives on damage flips thanks to the predatory instinct it borrows from the Apex crew. This model excels at repositioning the enemy from range, able to trigger pulse damage through its reel in attack and massive net bonus action shockwave, which can also lock the enemy down with a stagger condition if they fail its movement 12 duel. 
Alternatively, for a measly five soul stones, you can have the exceptional machinist, bane of all bubble crews, thanks to its Eye of the Hurricane ability, which allows friendly models to ignore enemy auras within three inches. With solid damage tracks on both its range and melee actions, the machinist's secondary role is to ping out shielded and card draw thanks to its quartermaster tactical action, something that Kia will greatly appreciate. The EVS keyword is one of specialists whose reliability is unparalleled in Malifaux, a lands cover a wide spectrum of strats and schemes to good effect. Reconfigure effectively bolsters a quarter of your fate deck at any one time, meaning that cheating fate in opposed duels is particularly potent when trading weak cards as magic nines. The crew also has considerable means of repositioning both themselves and enemies, creating isolated pockets where their high damage beaters can thin ranks at lower risk of counter offences. Meanwhile, the same tactic can be used to spread your forces and secure key objectives in later turns once activation control has been guaranteed. Finally, thanks to the options available within the Explorer Society versatile pool, the EVS can be surprisingly tanky in a straight up brawl, able to weather storms and come out on top, though it's better to keep a healer around just to make sure. If you find yourself on the wrong end of Maxine's research, then fear not there are actions you can take to reach calmer waters. First and foremost being the methods of attacking the EVS's control hand, either through forcing discard or jewels that need to be cheated. Once that hand is depleted, you'll be able to find cracks in their defense and willpower. Secondly, due to the significant amount of enforcers in the crew, the EVS will go down if a model is singled out by several attacks owing to its inability to use soul stones. Focus firing a key piece can swing each turn, as can any form of movement limitations through staggered or laugh off on your own models. So then if you're looking to give the EVS crew a run out, then consider the following example list. Use Orville and the Calypso Beeb combo for your scheming while the bulk of your crew holds down the center board under the protection of the Machinist and Herata's hacker. Power up Kia with shielded and focus and watch her go to work while the Tide Caller forces key repositions with its toss attacks. So that brings us to the end of this Malifaux Master Breakdown. We hope it's been useful in giving you a snapshot of the crew and its mechanics. For more talk about Malifaux and its masters, why not check out our podcast, The Harlefaux Show, where we break down each keyword and why you should play it. Alternatively, we have a wealth of beginner-friendly battle reports here on the channel that guide players through every flip and decision. Whichever you choose, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, folks. Hi, guys, and thank you so much for watching our videos. It means the world to us. If you want to see some more, they should be over here. And if you want to support this channel, keep these lights on. You can find links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. Take care.